Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about how to bring in a digital elevation model set of data and also a TIN into 3D in ArcGIS Pro. As you can see here, I've got a DEM from the U.S. Geological Survey. It is a 30 meter standard DEM and I've also made some derivative products from it as you can see here, a slope map and as we will see here an aspect map showing the direction of slope I also have a hill shade so I've got all those things inside ArcGIS Pro very important inside your 3D scene you have to set the elevation service to the world elevation 3D terrain 3D in the lower left now one of the many nice things about ArcGIS Pro is that you can analyze and visualize 2D and 3D data in the same application inside ArcGIS Pro. For my purposes, I ran the raster to tin, as you can see in the upper right, tool to make a triangulated irregular network from my digital elevation data. Now, since it's 30 meter, rather coarse digital elevation data, the tin doesn't look all that good, but tins are still useful for instruction and for research, so you're welcome to use those triangulated irregular networks for a variety of purposes. I'm going to focus on the DEM analysis here, but you are definitely welcome to use TINs in the future and at present. So I'm, as you can see in the upper appearance bar, I'm exaggerating the vertical by three, by a factor of three, because this is the Lus Hills, the land of the Lus in eastern Nebraska. It's hilly, but it's, it's by no means mountains. So in order to see the terrain a bit better, I'm exaggerating these. The nice thing also about analyzing data inside ArcGIS Pro, for the raster, you've got these tools on the right-hand side here, raster functions. And with those, you can make the aspect map, the slope map, the contour, hill shade, visualization. You can look at visibility from different places along the surface. The nice thing about using those tools is that you're not saving a whole different layer. You're actually using the original digital elevation data, in my case, to create these derivative products. Now, if you truly want to have them as layers, you can run an export. But as you can see here, I'm making a contour map from my original elevation data. And I am specifying that I want, I'm gonna take the defaults here. I don't have that many contour lines in there, so I'm gonna run that tool again and specify 10. I believe my elevation elevation data is in feet here. I also have a meters version of it where I ran a raster calculator on it and converted it to meters, but this particular one is in feet, so I'm gonna say 10 feet here. And now I'm gonna have a 10 foot contour interval here. And all these things that I've got on the left side, they are, again, not saved as individual layers because I've used that raster functions capability on the right side to create these derivative products. So I'm, I'm, I've got a couple 3D scenes. I've got a 2D map as well. All of my data is in UTM. It's important to work with projected coordinates when you're doing any sort of analysis. In my case, I've got this part of a citing a fire tower lesson inside the Lewis Hills. So it's part of an actual problem solving activity that I have students work through. They have to figure out flat terrain, but also high elevation, close to roads where they can construct the fire tower on, that sort of thing. Here's another tin uh, of a much larger area on the east coast of the USA. And here I'm exaggerating it quite a bit, as you can see in the appearance tab. But just like I had for my DEM, I can look at this, visualize this with these I'm enlarging it a bit so you can see the navigation tools. But more importantly than the visualization, I can actually do some analysis in 3D here in ArcGIS Pro. So a bit about analyzing and visualizing digital elevation data and also TINs inside ArcGIS Pro. Go out there and do some analysis. Thanks.